guys, come out and welcome to Women's History Month. Today I'm going to be speaking to you guys about five women in history, five black women in history. Also, I'm looking at my notes because I wrote notes and did research, okay? You know, to get facts and things like that and tell you the correct stuff. The first woman that we have is Mary Church Terrell. She was an African-American activist who championed racial equality and women's suffrage in the late 19th and early 20th century. She graduated from Oberlin College and earned her bachelor's and master's degree. Her work focused on racial uplift, which was the belief that blacks would help in racial discrimination and by advancing themselves and other members of race through education, work, and community activism. She believed as one succeeds, the whole race will be elevated. And her words, lift us we climb, became the motto of the National Association of Colored Women, the NACW. In 1953, she was also victorious in the Supreme Court ruling that segregated facilities were unconstitutional. We have Mary McLeod Bethune. I hope I'm saying McLeod right. But she was an important black educator, civil and women's rights leader, as well as a government official of the 20th century. She championed for gender and racial equality, and she set the standards for today's black colleges. She's an advisor to President Roosevelt and gave African Americans a voice in government. Not to mention, she opened one of the first schools for African American girls. And as a fun fact, when she was nine, she could pick 350 pounds of cotton a day. And she was also a member of Delta Sigma Theta. Talk about Katherine Dunham, who was a dancer, choreographer, anthropologist, which is the study of human societies, culture, and their development. She attended the University of Chicago, earning her bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in anthropology. She founded the Negro Dance Group and appeared before the Rosewald Foundation, which offered to finance her dance career. Afterwards, she took two years, she, well, she took the money and for two years, she went to the Caribbean islands, the Caribbean, you know, to study dance in their culture. She found a personal resonance with Haiti, which she used to incorporate into her dance routines. And she brought African-American culture to the European dominated dance world. She showed the world that African-American heritage is beautiful. Mary Anderson is an American singer and one of the most famous contraltos of her time. A contralto is a low female singing voice. In 1930 to 1935, she toured Europe and appeared before the monarchs of Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and England. She attempted to rent concert facilities, facilities in Washington, D.C., but was denied due to her race. Eleanor Roosevelt arranged for her to appear at the Lincoln Memorial on Easter Sunday and she drew an audience to, of 75,000 people. In 1955, she was the first African-American woman to appear at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. She was a delegate of the United Nations and she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Lastly, we have Josephine A. Salone Yates. She was a teacher, writer, and civil rights activist. She went to the Rhode Island State Institute where she got her certification uh, for a teaching and she moved to Just Friends City, Missouri and taught at the Lincoln Institute, which is later called Lincoln University. She became known and admired as one of the best teachers in the state of Missouri. She was also involved in clubs and organizations that fought racial and social change. And that is all that I have for today. It was kind of hard, you know, saying all the information and facts that I had written down, but I got through it. Hopefully you guys were able to learn something from this video and learn about amazing black women in history for Women's History Month. And I will see you guys in the next video.